Hello and welcome to the Destination Tips. Today we're going to be looking at things not to do in Mexico. I love Mexico. Don't expect Mexican food. If you're a fan of Mexican food back home in the US, don't expect the same in Mexico. Oh, I'm expecting Mexican food. Don't expect Mexican food in Mexico. Are you going to ask why? Why? Right. Ah, good. Well, you won't get burritos, half-shell tacos, ground beef toppings, orange cheddar cheese, chimichanga, or a big bowl of nachos. Well, according to readersdigest.com, the Mexican food you know as Mexican food isn't really Mexican food. So, in Mexico, you can expect tortas, pozole, tamales, and enchiladas, which is actually from Chile, I think. Enchilada with a wide range of exotic and spicy flavours, be careful with the spice. Things may be somewhat hotter than you expect. Ah, so expect them to be hotter. You can, can expect, expect them to be Mexican hot. food to be hot, but don't expect Mexican be food. Got it. Good. I know you've been planning your trip to Mexico for a long time. Yes, extensively. You've been expecting loads of Mexican food to eat there, I know well, that. Well, not anymore. What vehicle thinking of going to Mexico? Car, obviously. Don't bring your own car! Well, according to MexPro, if you have a car accident in Mexico, your American car insurance isn't valid. Well, I just won't have an accident. Yeah, but if that accident that you do have is deemed to be your fault, you don't have Mexican car insurance, the police can detain you until you prove you can pay for repairs. So all the time that you're, the paperwork's going through that you can prove that you can pay for it, you're gonna be detained in the jail. So unless you want to buy Mexican car insurance or hire a car, you're probably better off just using public transport or just hailing a taxi. <laughs> Number three, don't hail a taxi. According to grunge.com, not every cab in Mexico is licensed and a lot of unlicensed cabs are involved in scams, extortion and even kidnapping. What if I hire a taxi over the phone? Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me compute that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> One of the methods is to pick up the client. Instead of taking them to their destination, they take them to an ATM. They are then forced to take out the money and hand over their valuables and then dropped off in some remote and sometimes dangerous neighborhood on the outskirts of the city. If you need to use a taxi, use Taxi Rank. Phone for a taxi, hail it on the phone through Taxi Rank. Taxi! Number four, don't insult la Virgen de la Guardia. Ay, la Virgen de la Guadalupe. No, you just insulted her. You said her name in vain. I didn't. It was just said Virgen de la Guadalupe. Ay, la Virgen de la Guadalupe. <laughs> that is not insulting to Mexicans because we can talk Mexican because we have half Mexican blood. La Virgen de la Guadalupe is Mexico's patron saint and is an important religious symbol. In 2002, Pope John Paul II declared her the patroness of the Americas and her birthday, which is on the 12th of December, is a national holiday. Nice. Even if you are not religious, you should treat Guadalupe with respect because insulting her is like telling someone from North Carolina that NASCAR is a boring as sh**. Oh, day! I'm not from North Carolina, so that's okay. Okay, but uh, NASCAR isn't boring. So. No, it's absolutely, it's delicious. So, you finally made it to Mexico. You didn't go in a car, in your own car. No, definitely not. So I you held, held a taxi over, over the phone. phone. Um, what are you going to do with all that cash in your in your stash? You spend it. No! Number five, don't be brash with your cash. According to grunge.com, it's never a good idea to go around with a huge wad of cash on you or flashing your valuables. We always say this, and it's good advice. It is good advice, actually. I never flash my cash around anywhere. If you do, you're going to get pickpocketers and you're going to be the target of crime. A hate crime? Right, it's not a hate crime. 
It's always best, obviously, to carry a small amount of cash around because lots of places don't accept cards. It's also a good idea in Mexico to be careful with your cards, though. Avoid using debit cards at gas stations because of card skimming and never give your card to a server at a restaurant. Instead, make sure to pay at their card terminal. Never lose sight of your card. That's what I always do. Number six, don't expect them to hablar inglés. Okay. You mean what? <laughs> In general, we English speakers expect foreigners to speak our language. If we do go to Sweden, we expect them to speak English. However, is the idea of a Swede coming to America and expecting us to speak Swedish seems preposterous. I got lost at right. Swede. Well, you were thinking of the vegetable, no doubt. Don't expect people to, to that aren't from the country that you're going to. No, you're a, your own country. Why doesn't he just say to be respectful and learn a bit of the language before you go? Oh, I'm sick of him just ranting on about stuff. Flip flops! <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah. No! Number seven, don't wear flip flops! Okay. According to grunge.com again, flip flops are for the beach and shouldn't really be worn anywhere else. It's not just because of the annoying flip flop noise or kaplit kaplak noise. It's because they instantly announce that you are a tourist and you, it's like going up to criminals and saying, flip flop, flip flop, look at me, I'm a tourist. Come and take a <laughs> Well, it is if you sing that song, you know, well, which you I never well. sing. Hey, look at me, I'm a tourist and I got money in my back pocket and my jeans. Flip flop, flip flop, kaplit kaplop. Mm. Cities are dirty places, according to grunge.com. Okay. Okay, so your city stinks, according to grunge.com. Yes, it's not our, it's not us saying it. They're it's grunge.com. Dirty places and tend to walk a lot more than you think when visiting one, so avoid having blisters and skanky feet at the end of the day. Get yourself a pair of clothes sandals or comfortable sneakers. Yes, and don't make that annoying racket. This has been our video. Thanks for the watchness of it. I've been me. Car, you, you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> taxi. No, not holding. That is the weirdest that procedure is for holding a taxi. Hailing a f taxi. Don't expect Romans to go out of Rome and bring their own cash. <laughs> what country do you want to know what not to do in next? I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time. Thanks. You said next twice. Did I? Yeah. Oh, sh.